everyone, it's Selene, Senior Inbound Marketing Specialist at Hive House Digital. Today, we're going to build off of our Lifecycle Sages tech tip and talk about lead status. The best way I can describe lead status is to think of it as a subset of your sales qualified leads. When determining your lead status, think, where is this contact in the sales process? In HubSpot, the default lead statuses are new, open, in progress, attempted to contact, connected, open deal, unqualified, and bad timing. You can add or remove any of the lead statuses. For example, many of our clients will add an unresponsive lead status, or you might change bad timing to not ready. Some of the defaults seem like they're very similar to each other, such as open, in progress, and open deal, so you might consider combining those into one if those don't seem to really fit your sales process, although you could use them in different ways. For example, open can mean that it has just been assigned to a contact owner, but they haven't started working the contact. In progress could mean that the sales rep is researching that lead, but hasn't connected yet. And open deal, of course, would mean that the lead has now an associated deal. Um, so it's really custom to you. You are given a bunch of different defaults, but you can really take it and modify it to how your sales team has their sales process. So now let's go into HubSpot and show you how you can modify these lead statuses. All right, so I am in our HubSpot test portal. And so unlike Lifecycle Stages, it doesn't have a special screen for you to modify. It's just under properties. So you're going to go to the gear icon in the top. Then you're going to go to properties and you're going to make sure it is on contact properties. It'll probably default there, but it should be under contact properties. Then you are going to search for lead status and then select it. And here you can see all the different default lead statuses we have in here. Um, this is our test portal, so it's not something we've really um, customized in any way. These are just the defaults. So let's say, for example, you don't really have any need for the open lead status. You can go ahead and click on it, and then you can delete it, and it will not be part of your lead status anymore. Let's say you want to add a, another lead status. Let's say that you are a SaaS company and you have a free trial that you give to all of your leads. You could add the option for a lead status of in trial. And let's say it makes sense to have it under connected. You can add that lead status in um, and as many lead statuses as make sense for your sales process. So once you have all of your um, lead statuses sorted out, you will go ahead and just click on save and it will save all of the customizations you have done. Now, depending on the lead status, you might wanna add automation or you might wanna manually update it. For example, for unqualified or bad timing, you'll want to probably mark it manually as it can be hard to create criteria to make that judgment call. So those you'll probably want your sales team to mark themselves. But for other things like connected or open deal, you can easily create automation uh, in HubSpot using workflows. I'm gonna go over to the workflows tab and I've already created two different workflows to show you the open deal and connected workflows. So I'm gonna open up connected and really all this workflow is about is getting the enrollment criteria right. So I'll open this up and you can see I've added, I wanna make sure that they're not already an unqualified bad timing or open deal lead status. I also wanna make sure that they're not a current uh, opportunity or customer and for good measure, I added number of associated deals is unknown. Then we wanna think about the different ways that your sales team might talk to that lead and connect with them. Typically that's going to be an email or a phone call. So for this one, I have recent sales email reply date is known. So that means that the lead has replied back to you. And then if we scroll down, I have cloned this. So it still has that same qualification for lead status, lifecycle stage, and number of associated deals, but I've added that their associated activity has a connected call outcome. So if your salesperson has a call with someone and they mark the outcome as connected, they will also qualify for this workflow and get enrolled to be updated to connected. So that's how you can create some automation for the connected lead status. 
let's go back and I will show you how to create an open deal workflow. And this one's a lot simpler. Um, we have the life cycle stage is any of opportunity. So if you, if you only have it set up, so if someone's an opportunity, that means that they have an open deal, then you can use that. Um, but you could also do number of associated deals is known. And that also works for identifying contacts that have an associated deal. Uh, and then of course you'll want to click the plus button, scroll down and find set property value. You will look for lead status and then set it to the appropriate lead status. In this case, it will be open deal and then click save. And of course, then you can turn your workflow on. And that is how you use lead status in HubSpot and how you can create automation to automate some of those lead statuses. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next tech tip.